What's up boys and girls, welcome back to a new episode of Beating Grandmaster with Stupid Stuff. Well, as I just recorded a complete episode without actually pressing record. Um, our opponents might know what we're gonna do because I'm playing the same guy as I did before. Today's challenge is going to be uh, base trading and base trading and ninja expanding. So I actually have some <laughs> very good plans. Um, which I thought about yesterday night already that I want to put to use but yeah like I said I, I already played a game which I have to admit I won and it worked out really well against this specific guy I played a, a mix of blink stalkers and dark templars and zealots in prisms and uh, we went hard at it is all I can say so we're gonna try the same thing once again let's see if we learn from the last game like it actually ended with me killing all of his buildings in a proper base trade. I might just up like upload the replay at the end of it and talk over it or something like that. Especially if I don't get any good games here. Might very well be possible. Alright. We're just gonna scout. Throw down our cybernetics core. And then we get a uh, sentry stalker into a twilight council plus fort we ninja expand our third base we ninja expand our fourth base preferably on the other side of the map helps us out in base trades and then from that point on i mean it doesn't really matter what we do. we're just gonna run around we're gonna base trade we're gonna have a good time we're gonna have a good time tonight celebrate it's all right we're gonna have a good time tonight. The celebrate is alright. Celebration. We gon' celebrate. This isn't blocking, right? What do you guys think? If this is blocking my nexus, that'd be really fun. I think it might be. Oh, okay, Sentry Stalker. Ooh, perfect. That's why they call me Perfect Perry. Or at least my friends do. Well, my friends. My parents. Well, my parents are my friends. My only friends. But that's a story for another time. Build a Stalker. Another Stalker. We can do the two things now, we can build a pylon, or we can build a twilight council. I'm building a pylon. It, it's not that important to rush out the link, right? Economy probably is more important, so faster pylons, more probes, that kind of shenanigans are, are going to be key in winning games. So we have a quick scout timing. He has two sentries. Follows up with Forge, Blink. Oh, it's kind of cute, honestly. Ninja base. The thing with ninja bases is you want to get them ASAP, right? Like the faster you have them, the quicker. It doesn't matter anymore if they do get scouted because you're just gonna be ahead. You know, he might be able to tell that something's missing. He has good scouting, honestly. The question usually is not, do they have good scouting, but do they know what to do with the information? So he should be able to tell that I have something proxied, because there's a lot of money missing from my base. And also because I did it last game against him, that also shouldn't help. 
So what do we see here? Forge, Twilight. Here's a pretty sizable army. as a Robo Bay as well. Or Robo Bay. Robotics facility. He's lacking some stuff as well. That's very weird actually. Robotics facility, I guess. Research complete. I'm gonna try to deny that thing. Do we want gas? I don't think we want that. actually want gas. No. no. This one, this base is done in that case. So this is really pushing my luck a little bit. But... Ah, okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh wait, I can just base trade. That was the whole point of these outside bases in general, I don't know. Like, that's my third base, mate. But this is your natural. Oh, he does have a re No, he doesn't have a recall already. Help. May God help me. This guy has absolutely no shame. He just instantly started looking for proxy bases because he lost to it last game. Is this your plan of a fair game? I know. I don't want to know him anymore. Oh, okay, okay. I see how it is. Please tell me he doesn't have an observer with him. There's a lot of freaking units in there. If he gets to teleport to one of the bases, I'm really dead. Now we have one play left, obviously. Ah, oh, he has pros as well. That's not so cool. There really is only a single play left in that case. Oh wait, what's this kind of? Base is under attack.
a rookie mistake, perhaps. No! Oh, that was a massive misblink. Wait, does he not have observers? Does he actually just not have observers? Ah, uh, if I just had my full army together. I might have been able to do it. Does he have observers here? Okay, he does have an observer. Okay, wait, we're gonna we're gonna jump in. It's our only chance. Tell me. No, he has one more observer. <sighs> one more observer. And he has one more probe as well. With quite some cash in his hand. Ah. Tough game, tough game. We'll try another time. We got him once, he got us once. We'll get him the third time. That's how it's supposed to work. Watch oh, Let me tell you. This time it ain't gonna be so fun. Our ninja base is going to be up here. And that's going to allow us that if he ever moves to our ninja base, it's absolutely going to blast him. A blast from the past, so to say. We're also going to start with a one gate expand. Now, I would not recommend this to anyone. I say this many times. You need to be an absolute expert of StarCraft 2 to play a one gate expand in uh, PvP. It's a little bit laggy. That's weird. We'll pretend to not see it. Maybe it's just this map. Okay, so we're gonna expand on top over there. That's okay, I'm still recording, just making sure after the fiasco of earlier. Now the thing that I have to be very afraid of, that I should be very afraid of, is any kind of early game proxies. So far he's j just been playing Sentry Stalker, which is a pretty decent scenario for the one gate expander, for the veteran one gate expander like myself. So we're just gonna follow his probe with our probe. Because we don't want his probe to go out there and proxy stuff without us being aware of it. What are you doing? Actually, what are you doing? <sighs> Base is under attack. This might have been brilliant in his head, but... Less brilliant in reality, if you ask me. I'm gonna use it to try and shade in, yeah. Cool. I can steal wall, just use your pylon. Like I said. The veteran. Like myself. Oh wait, wait, he's gonna finish. I'm an idiot. Like I said, the veteran like myself, boys. 
has no issue with this kind of shenanigans. I was gonna force shield myself out. That would win the play of a century. Oh god, this is. <laughs> And this is why you shouldn't try this, unless you're an absolute veteran like me. Because then bad things might happen. Bad things might just happen. Jesus, that was stupid. I could see it happen in my head as well. This is what happens. This is why it isn't healthy to wake up before 7. Just as bad things to your brain. That's what I read as well. What's this? Uh, is that Oracle? Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's nice enough for you that Oracle, but you know what it means, my friend. Mi Ferrando. That's how Spanish people say friend. You know what it means, Mi Ferrando? No, you don't. It means I get a lot of freedom. Oracle delays everything on your side of the map. Now, it does make it a little harder for me to proxy expand. Unless I just, I guess, get my worker out for free. Oh, we got him. We got him. Yeah, baby, we got him. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. Your desire. Three gas for now. That's what we're gonna be doing. What's he doing? I know what I'm doing, but what he's doing is still a mystery to me. Doesn't really seem to have a plan, which is fine. I watched a video today about mindset in StarCraft 2 and the first point was to respect your opponent but if your opponent builds an oracle and then another oracle on golden wall it's very difficult to respect your opponent I think it's not cool man it's just not cool ah oh, really DTs? Oh, that's my alarm. This is the time I was actually supposed to wake up. Okay. You see that move though. Did you see that move though? We were hunting for witches. Everything's going wrong in my life, boys. But at least I didn't let his DTs in. With some some swift moves, some some slick moves, even one could say. Now set, setting up for the base trade is going to be too easy. It's actually not going to be fun anymore. He ruined it by playing a bad strategy. Thanks for nothing, Barco. Ruining my YouTube videos, which are will to win. And to not do it in a proper way. We're gonna need to bait out the attack. So we need to do so much damage that he will get very tired of being in this game. And then we base trade. This is not quite base trading though what I'm about to do, I'm just gonna harass him. That's not base trading at all. What are these guys doing? Lazy pricks. Get with the program. Okay, well, guess what's gonna happen here? You guessed it right, I'm gonna jump blink into that. I can't believe I'm just rallying across the map. I've really given up on trying to make this a secret. Should get a cannon here as well though. 
just to know how it feels. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I guess I kinda like the way you give me some pain. Oh, he's blind. I, I saw his uh, DT's move there. There he is still moving. We're gonna catch this fool. Hello. That's a lot of money you got there, my friend. Oh, he's actually moving up. Look at him. That's not tight at all, my G. Really putting a number on him. After we lose a base, we just take a new one. Good luck, my friend. I just killed two bases at the same time. They call me multitasking the Tony, which is my last name, of course, the Tony. Oh, wait. he's gonna recall here, really? That seems like a rookie mistake, honestly. Hey, <laughs> come out of here. Get son. You got nothing to prove here. Oh, you still have a gold? Too bad I'm behind it. Lull. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Come on, blink over it. You know you want to. We're pulling him apart, boys. Well, that wasn't that great of a blink, was it now, Chief? Oh, he's in the main base. That means we can be here. Just oh, forgot to GG. Rookie move. Have to the best though. Just the other day I forgot to GG myself as well. After getting 12 pulled and me not scouting. So it truly does happen to the best. Hello, I think we got the same guy for the third time in a row, well technically the fourth time, you guys are only going to see three. I'll consider, actually, no, I'll put the replay of that first game in the description as well. Uh, so if you're really desperate for StarCraft 2 content, then you can just watch the replay and you just imagine me making some bad jokes over it. It saves me 10 minutes of having to go over the replay and I already told, told you guys who's going to win, which is me of course, so. It's already spoiled, but if, if you really try hard, it should be in the description. Or I forgot to upload it, and there will be a guy in the comments being very smug about it. If you're that guy, then I'll ban you. Do you guys know I can ban people without them realizing they're banned? When I, I realized this, I thought it was the funniest thing. There's a couple of guys on my channel right now, who are probably still spamming comments on every video, and no one sees it. Probably shouldn't have said that they're gonna check. You're real confused why they're banned. Yeah, if you annoyed me too much, you're out of here, my friend. My channel, my rules. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. Okay. Third base, fourth base. No, wait, this is a better third base, isn't it? I already played this map against him as well, and I took this as a third, this as a fourth. Then I almost lost in a base trade. That was very sad. 
The problem is that I can't really harass him too much. Like, I don't want to kill him with harass. I do like his uh, dedication to the scouting game and that he doesn't proxy, you know? Probably he's gonna open Sentry Stalker again as well. Maybe he doesn't know anything else. That would be quite something. No, he, he played Adept at last game. He, kn he knows something else at least. Okay, he's currently boosting the first two, you know. Uh, this guy. This guy's at it. He's <laughs> He's, end, he's at the end of it, you know, the end of his patience. Now, against first two chrono boosted units, you just keep building stalkers, it's not that hard. You also just stay in your opponent's base to spot the tech, because there's no way they're gonna chase your probe, because they'll lose all the time that they used. What? Oh, it's adapt to that? I don't think it actually worked. Yeah, like I said, I don't think that actually works. That is something you shouldn't have done, my friend. No, I kind of just want to poke at him because he played so greedy that we need to punish him a little bit for it, you know? I know I shouldn't really be attacking, but he's pissing me off at this weird place. They're just gonna move out. Delay is natural a little bit. But, uh, in order to make it up to you lovely guys and gals out there. I will expand really fast to my third base. See? I do something bad, I do something good. Ah. Tell me again, I'm not the coolest guy in the world. Then I'll tell you why you're wrong. Third base at 4 minutes PvP. In Spanish they would say, Cest no problema. Je m'appelle Kevin. Did I forget my warp gate? That's tight. That's some tight stuff, my friends. Some real tight stuff. Some really tight stuff. I'm not happy with this, actually. Um, because I have a feeling he might be playing uh, uh, Immortal. I'm definitely correct. We see him move out for no real reason. Uh, if he holds out, that'd be legendary. base trading. This isn't quite what everyone expected with the with the base trade I think. But I mean we're trying our best to keep to the plan, you know, so we we did some base trading moves, then we recall. I, f I feel like I I really did everything in the spirit of the challenge here. I really have. Haven't I? I have a ninja expand. I did some base trading moves. I defended in the end. I mean... This was good stuff. This actually, I'm, I'm proud of this defense. I tricked him with the two force shields here real good. Now 
Now we're gonna set up for a proper base trade again. There's no way he believes I held this with a third base. Oh, look at him thinking, he is in okay position. That's where you're wrong, my friend. Right, in this dead moment in this game, I'd like to make everyone once again aware of that I also have a second YouTube channel where you could be subscribing to right now. If you haven't done that, there will be a link in the description. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers. It would be great if we managed to reach that before the end of the week. On that channel I mainly cast high level, well I exclusively cast high level games. Oh, this is sad for him. He tries to do some damage but it just gets shut down. Oh wait, what the hell? Killed a lot of work, so I. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, whoop. Man, this guy is getting absolutely destructed by my superior decision making. He once again forgot to GG. It's a true rookie mistake. I'm um, considering reminding him. Hey bro, don't forget to GG. Absolute rookie. Had a rough morning. Imagine waking up this early. Jeez. He woke up four hours ago. He woke up at 4.40 to play some StarCraft. And he gets ruined this day by some idiot base trader. <laughs> that was very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as well. Be sure to smash the like button, as that helps me a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel. There's videos every day, at least at one of the channels. That's how crazy it is. And uh, with nothing else to do, might as well. So thanks everyone for watching and see you all tomorrow for a new episode of Is It Imba or Do I Suck?